Hi, I'm Joyce, the Energy Lady. And um, conversation I have today is called Learn Helplessness. What the heck is that? And why would I want to learn helplessness? Well, guess what? A lot of people have learned how to be helpless. And those of us who love to rescue people enable those people who have learned to be helpless. So in life, there's, there's going to be pain. It's just inevitable. There are painful things that, experience, that people experience in life. And I've heard a lot of really painful things from different clients. But it's the suffering that's optional. And the reason for that is because when something painful happens, we don't know how to abide in that pain. We don't know how to be with it. It hurts. And so we immediately go into some reasoning or excuses or meanings for what happened and oftentimes make ourselves wrong. So for instance, had a client that said she had severe child abuse throughout her childhood. She's now an adult. And she said, you know, when all of that happened, I immediately thought I'm worthless. I'm no good. I'm not valued. I'm good for nothing but this. And I have no purpose. That's a common conversation for those who have been through some form of abuse. Now, the painful thing happened, the abuse, the suffering has been her conversation in her mind about what happened. And that conversation is the thing that will take you down that spiral. That conversation of all the reasons that um, it happened, all the conversations of I'm not, I'm worthless, I'm no good, um, I'm a piece of crap, nobody will want me. Those are all conversations that create suffering. And that's where people learn their helplessness, okay? Because when something painful happens <clears throat> and we go into that conversation of worthlessness and all of that, the people just want to curl up and quit and be done. And then they look for someone who will feed into that story. I had another client who said her neighbor was experiencing a lot of painful issues and um, had to go into a mental facility um, and said, I don't even know why this happened. Nothing really, I never really did anything. So she's looking for the friend the one that went to the facility is looking for her friend to like feel bad for her and feed into her helplessness. That doesn't help people. So when people come to you with their painful story, when you buy it and you feed into it and you're like nurturing them, I'm not saying be cold, okay? But if you're nurturing their stories and you're like, yeah, that's terrible, that's awful, I can't believe that happened. Guess what? You bought into their story of helplessness rather than building them a story of how they can step out of that, okay? So if someone's in that helplessness position and they're coming to you and sharing that with you, what if you were to present to them, what do you want to do? What do you really want? If this is not what you want, then what do you want? And help them look for ways to get out and crawl out of that suffering mode, okay? So, when people learn to be helpless, it's because those of us who love to be rescuers are rescuing them. And that just nurtures their helplessness. So if you need to be a rescuer, what do you need? You need helpless people. So the part of you that needs to rescue people, that's what you need to look at, okay? And if you're a helpless person, you need to look at the, per the part of you that wants to be rescued. So. That's a lot in a quick video about learned helplessness. And I've worked with many, many, many clients who've been through this. And so if you'd like to have a first time free consultation with me, book one on my calendar. If you have questions about this, I'm happy to answer your questions. If you want to book a session, you can also book that on my calendar. And have a really great day. See ya.